Well, hello, Rebel Watchers and YouTubers. Check out this garden. I wanted to show you this. It's a home that is located near my son's property where I boondock. And I, don't, I think I've shown it once before, but I don't remember how far back it was. And I just wanted you to see the detail of this. It is so cool. Check out those wine bottles. It's kind of like a, I think like a light. And check out the outhouse. And behind there, there's like a little courtyard. It almost looks like maybe an artist's area where they might, you know, paint some paintings or something. It's really cute little courtyard. Isn't that kind of neat? And there's a swing set and a little tree house. And then those, I don't want to call them anorandac chairs. I'm, I'm probably not saying it right. Way in the background. And the bicycle. And then right in the middle of the whole thing, there's this like picnic table. Just a regular picnic table for people to maybe sit and look at this collection these people this is their front yard and and their yard is borders a major expressway so you see the big expressway wall back there look at there's a little play yard here maybe for their grands I don't know but look how green the lawn is and look at the area how well taken care of it is where they just have no weeds they picked up all the you know, no weeds there. The weeds are gone. The lawn is beautiful. And then even beyond that white picket fence over there in the background that you'll see again in a minute is their backyard. And there's even more items over that fence. Oh, and the sandbox there where the turtle is with the, with the trucks, the boys' trucks there, like for boys. All these birdhouses, even over on the other side of the fence in their backyard. This took some major time to put, the, or years, years to collect these items and organize them in the front yard. It's really kind of cool. Very cool. Yeah, there's a little, like a sandbox there with the dump trucks. Reminds me of my little brothers playing in the dirt and the sand with their dump trucks when they were younger. Very well done. And there's a washing machine here in that little bunny grove, the bunny area, with a looks like almost looks like the. Um, the tower in Paris on top of it. A replica. Pretty cool. All rusted out. Washing machine, ringer washing machine, probably. So adorable. So many birdhouses. So nicely done. You can see if you actually look in the front of their window of their house, you can see there's more items inside their home. It must take a lot of time to really maintain this garden. So cool, huh? Wonder if they have to clean all those things off. <laughs> Enchanting. 
big love and passion it must be for these people who maintain this. And this wooden and this wooden platform is for people who could they could stand on this and admire the garden and not be in the middle of the street. That's pretty nice. There's Danny looking out the window. Mom, Mom, can I come out there? That looks like a lot. There's a lot of stuff to pee on over there. Can I come? Please, please, please. Can I come in the yard? <laughs> Danny, you're so silly. No, you cannot come out into the yard. Stay in the van. There it is. It says McGregor's Bunny Farm. Right, but today I am going to um, rearrange the furniture. That's what I'm going to plan on doing today. And um, I'll let you see it when I'm all done. Well, I rearranged my rig. Or actually, not my rig. I rearranged my um, van, the den. And I'll show you a little bit of it. Well, the front seats, this front seat hasn't changed. And maybe eventually I might get the swivel, but we'll see. That's not in my budget right now because I think the swivel attachment, uh, the thing that make the swivel is like over almost 300 bucks. So I'm not at that point yet. So I moved the, my closet, my cabinet that I have my hanging clothes in, I moved those here, then here, rather than in the back where I had it. Now I'm gonna try to open this up back here because I'm already hooked up, but. But here is my garage area. So it's all organized. I have my generator, my grill, my toolbox, my ladder. I have my, my battery for the van. I still gotta uh, put these, all my cords, I had them all hanging, but because I changed my bed around, I'm gonna have to find a new place to hang them. And then in this bottom compartment, I have all my cast iron pots and pans. And right now I've got in traveling mode, but I have the bed set up so I can open the doors and I have the bed all set up so I can open the doors and look out. It's all open with the exception of my hanging closet, but the stroller and then deep in there, I have still have the curtains on the other side where I can get in there and Danny's cubby's in there and I'll show you that. So we're inside the van and I keep my cords in that round thing, my extension cords for my power. And that weight kind of adds up on those because they are heavy. So I keep all three of them in the van to take the weight outside of my camper. So I move the cabinet that I use as a hanging closet this area curtains a little long so I kind of safety pinned it to fit for now until I sit down and sew it and I have my clothes hanging in there my hang up clothes I'm not sure how it's going to do over here because it does rock a little bit and I don't have it tied down I'm gonna need to tie it down. Here's Danny's cubby. So I kept that there and her little mat and I moved some stuff over to the side next to the bed. So I bought this plastic con storage container. Oh, by the way, that lamp is two way gorilla taped on top of there so it doesn't fall but look at these they clip so that you don't have to worry about your stuff falling out and it's supposed to be totally unbreakable yeah look at that. that's kind of nice it's got that clip on there i got those at walmart i have not seen them at any other walmart other than the one in belvedere oh that's my dermacell for the bugs 
Thermosel. I started using that at Lollapalooza because somebody else told me about them. I think it was Gypsy Pear. And um, it's great for the bugs, keeps the bugs out. But pretty cool though, huh, those drawers? And they clip. And I don't have to worry about them falling out. So there it is, Danny's Cubby, my little storage bins from Walmart, her placemat for her water. Otherwise, everything is still the same, but now I have the storage locker up front. And I have the bed moved back about another foot, and everything's well organized underneath. Well, we're on our way out of here, leaving the property. I'll be back in about a week or so, about a week, and then in August I'll be back. But anyway, oops, Manuel. Danny's in her co-pilot seat next to me. Yep, I'm on my way. Going to uh, Yogi Bear Campground. And there's so many Yogi Bears. You know, I didn't realize how many Yogi Bears there are. There's a lot of them. I don't know if it's chain or if they just choose to say the, the name Yogi Bear because it's, it's something that the kids, you know, like to do, like to go around. But anyway, so I'm going to be headed up there for the 4th of July and then I'm northbound to the UP so here we go we are off I've got my hair up got my little curler in there my little blue curler so uh, here we go I hope everybody's having a really wonderful day my day is great I always have a great day when I get to hug my son <laughs> you know so just love that guy. There's the mailman. Ah, here we go. Yep. One of them got her. I gotta try to get it out. I keep a tick kit in the car and I keep a tick kit in tick kit in the camper three different sizes yeah I'm gonna have to put some medicine on that yep you just scoop it up and pull it up and twist there's a chart so you can identify what kind of tick it is if it's a deer tick or an American dog tick or if it's a long star tick I think I'm not sure if this what I think this one is the long star tick and it's an adult yeah so I get three sizes I got it at Walmart I think it was like four bucks four or five bucks I got I bought a couple of them online a couple years ago She's all better now. Got some medication on her. We're driving and all of a sudden I started petting her and and I felt it on her. I just checked her too yesterday, but then you know she was moping around yesterday. I don't know. I don't I don't think it's been on her that long. I think she just got that sucker today. She was playing out there today. Where I was getting ready, I let her play a little bit. I watch her, but ticks are real bad this year. And if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down.